Alright guys, T here this morning, doing some uh, cleaning up of this turkey tail. If you'd walk in here a little bit for me, Addy. Thank you, by the way, it's my camera girl, my daughter. So, this morning, I'm, I, I collected a bunch of these turkey tail here. You can see those guys very well. And I'm actually cleaning them up so we can boil them down. Got the trash right here. And as you can see, they're sandy. I'm going to cut all of what I want off. Set it down in this strainer here. And then I'm going to throw that stuff away that's got dirt on it from the tree. And some of these, as you can see, that was already a good clean from the tree. So go ahead and cut them up and a little bit smaller than inch squares too. Something that won't fall out of your strainer. So yeah, you just keep harvesting it like so. And we'll be back with you. If come back here in a few. We'll have some more cleaned up for you. Alright guys. Tommy back here with Outdoors with Tea. Almost done cleaning these up. So, I just wanted to leave some of the more defined ones. What I like to do is just follow all the way around the dirty spots. And anything you got clean and white, chop off. Done with this here. But these are some of the cooler ones I left out to show you guys. Look at this little mini one here. <laughs> Hence, turkey tail. If I ever seen one. Perfect little turkey tail. Pretty cool mushrooms. Really medicinal, really healthy. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the process and tell you a little bit more about it. I already showed you guys how to make a tea. Well, I'm getting low on my tea, so it's time to stock up the fridge with some more. So I thought I'd take you through the cleaning process this time. And then I'll finish it out with uh, the tincture instead of just the tea. And what I harvest for the fridge. So like I said, this stuff's really medicinal. It's got antifungal, antibacterial, anti-cancer fighting properties. A lot of research done on it. You can look into it. Um, look for the healthy stuff. You know, all this that I'm cutting seems really nice and fresh. Dropped a part of the wrong part in there. That's okay. Just finish up a couple more here. And this one was pretty cool. This one flowered right off, off the tree. And it's got a pretty flower on each side. Like a flower, like I like to call them. Alright guys, here's some wood ears also. They're not super healthy looking, but I'm still going to clean them up later and rinse them and try to make something with them so I don't waste them. Alright, we'll come over here to the sink. What we want to do here... Rinse it in cool water. And I like to just let it go for a while. And also, the other thing about these mushrooms, they say the more surface area you got, the more medicine it releases when you boil it down. So you're supposed to cut it into little squares. I like to make it just big enough it won't go through my holes on my strainer. 
You know, you don't have to get really technical about it. Just cut it up so you're releasing more of that medicine. Give it a really good rinsing too. You want to try to get all that sand and dirt out of there. Alright guys, so we'll finish rinsing and we'll get back with you when we go to pan. Thank you.